What's up, Mortgage Coach community? I am super pumped. I'm talking to Rose Marie David, uh, an amazing mortgage executive that uh, I think, Rose Marie, I don't know exactly how many years we've known each other, but I do know you were a loan officer using a mortgage coach, a branch manager using a mortgage coach, and then you've uh, risen the ranks in the mortgage industry. So it's good to have you here. It's been a lot of years, decades now, Dave. Decades. But thank right. you for not for not focusing on that part. <laughs> I won't focus too much, but I, I am doing this project right now where I'm doing this halftime report. It's June of 2022. And the, the inspiration for it was I was doing some personal business planning and I was trying to like, you know, readjust the year. And I'm like, it's a whole new year. Like the planning we did in, you know, November, December, October, throw it out of the books. And there's been, you know, shifts the interest rates. Uh, we're still in a low inventory market, but I, I, in the course of this 15 minute conversation, I want to land on what you think are some of the biggest opportunities for lenders and loan officers. Uh, lenders are other mortgage executives, loan officers, but let's start with data points and trends. You know, what are some, some things that have changed for the worse? And are there some things that have changed for the better from a data and trend perspective? Yeah, so I probably went to the a little bit the darker space in my reflection on this, just given the season that we're in. Um, I feel like from a global space, like certainly the space of supply is just undeniable, just the situation with housing supply. And that coupled with, um, the uh, affordability space with rising interest rates, no doubt, seems to be a really strong factor in the market right now. Um, and certainly uh, being in the mortgage business as lenders are trying to navigate the you know, compressing margins um, and just the origination cost structure around that. On the flip side, I think that, um, the technology aspects and where innovation is starting to take us is a pretty exciting shift. So um, I do think that that creates a different level of opportunity right now in the marketplace. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, I think, uh, I guess I'm in the technology business of providing right. offers with, you know, platforms and solutions to help them be more efficient. What are some of the best opportunities you think right now for, for lenders and loan officers? Well, I think, you know, if I look at trends right now, um, watching, um, uh, certainly staying focused on the millennial shift and segment of our business, mm -hmm. what's rising out of that um, in terms of opportunity, just because of what percentage they make up of the home buying community and in terms of their, their patterns and the way they want to go through a buy process. Um, so I would say definitely that. Um, I really feel like there is great opportunity in this season through diversity from how we've looked at lending in the past in terms of product. Right, whether that be the new version of cross sell available to our industry, um, the variation of products starting to emerge in non QM, the specialization of some of the products that have been around forever, like reverse mortgage, and uh, the population that exists that um, that benefit of that product uh, will be significant, right, in this coming decade. So I think about the level of cross-sell and product diversity, um, certainly new construction just with the supply thing creates opportunities if you're at the line level of origination. So Those are some of the things that come to mind. Well, we just so you know, if you didn't, we've got a reverse mortgage analysis coming out in Mortgage Coach because we, oh, we believe that, you know, while there may only be a few hundred thousand or not actually not even that many, um, reverse mortgage. I, you know, I think there are, are millions of people that want to know, should I do a reverse or a mortgage? And so we want to make sure that they can make that decision. Um, well, you mentioned the millennial, you know, I've been talking to C-suite a lot 
and loan officers. Like if you can win with rate shoppers, you can win with everyone. But I think it's oh, also yeah. true. If you can win with millennials, you can win with everyone. You agree with that thesis? Well, I do. But I'll also say this doesn't seem all that new and different to me. Like as much as we True. talk about the, the digital evolution, it, this business has always been um, most impactful through relationships, right? So it is high touch, high tech. And so understanding Millennials and just your various buyer segments in general, I think is um, not only opportunity, but our responsibility um, in this industry to what supports um, good decision making around home ownership and uh, the right yeah. strategies. So TCA, you, you think uh, using a total Absolutely. family is the way yes. to go? No, that, what that was not set up, but that it, it's undeniable, right? It is. So what about what about this? One of the takeaways I've had from the interviews that I've done is, is that we should start measuring different things. And as an industry, we've always, I don't want to say obsessed, but we celebrate the scorecard of top producers. And the top producers are so, you know, we always know who the top unit slash who helped the most families. And we always know who... Um, did the most volume, but we don't track, you know, who has the best conversion. And, and we don't put that and celebrate it. We don't track, uh, and it might be, hey, we've got business intelligence on it, but we don't scorecard it publicly with, our, well, not publicly, but with our loan officers. And we don't necessarily show profitability, customer satisfaction. Those are all kind of disparate things. What are your thoughts about literally, hey, here's the loan officer report card units, volume, conversion, how many basis points you're costing, customer satisfaction, and we, we re-envision the how we scorecard uh, loan officer productivity and efficiency. Well, I think it's really a critical conversation to be had, right? There's, there's this space, and I feel like I can relate, having been a you know, $100 million originator at a certain point in my career, and then moving to leadership, there's a space at which many in our industry are afraid to go to the level of absolute transparency with the front line, um, not crediting them for a place of understanding all the aspects that matter. And yet then, if you're not willing to be transparent and bridge the gap with originators to fully understand what creates a sustainable, um, high performing functioning environment, then I don't know how you can expect uh, anything differently. So I absolutely think that having command and knowing all your metrics and sharing that data as much as possible for people to be looped in into what matters to, you know, create the path forward is key critical. And especially when, you know, everything starts to compress and become uh, more restrictive. It is in down seasons when we have to rise to a whole different occasion. It's really easy to be great when things are great, whether you're the originator or you're the lender. It's different to really be great when all of the factors are really, you know, closing in to require high performance in every aspect of how well, you do your business. That's something that I'm going to, in, in this halftime report I'm creating, I'm going to make that a recommendation is to re-envision the, what we measure and what we celebrate yeah. you know, and really celebrate the loan officer that has the highest conversion, you know, celebrate the loan officer that has the, the best retention. Uh, and, you know, you're familiar with sales boomerang. One of my goals also is to, is to make sure that loan officers and lenders really know how many, who they're losing and that and I, and I do believe that our biggest line item is, is lost loans, you know, that people are, you know, forgetting who their loan officer is, or they're just opportunistically doing loans and the loan officer doesn't know it. What's your take on leveraging big data with digital presentations and how important that might be? Oh, I think it's significant. Like on the subject of lost loans, I pause for a moment because I hear a lot of loan officers right now, whether they work for me or 
um, externally dialoguing about the loans that they've lost in this year. And everyone's lost more loans in this year because there's far less market share to go around and you just have a much bigger C, you know, competing for it. So losing loans is a reality. Losing a sale is a reality in most businesses where <laughs> sales is at hand. Figuring out then how to um, create a different level of value and a different level of conversation with the customer and a digital experience that meets them where they want to be met, how they want to be met, when they want to be met, that is really rising to a different level of value creation or contribution to maintain or gain a client versus just people feeling they could be all things to all people and the lowest price. Like that's not very realistic in most industries. So you've got to figure out how to, you know, bridge that to real value creation that's sustainable. Well, we'll be covering that. So let's wrap it up. One last question. If you were a branch manager, I mean, you're not, you're, you know, running a big sales organization, but if you were a branch manager, what opportunities would you be pushing your loan officers to focus on? If there was just one piece of advice for branch managers to bring leadership to their loan officers, what would be that closing thought? Uh, be knowledgeable um, about product and offerings and go bring information to the, the customer and referring partner around you. They're dying for information right now. Like they haven't had that type of service or information coming to them for quite some time through the last season of 20 and 21. So I think you need to do the heavy lifting to make sure that you truly understand the options. And to your point, that you spend time knowing how to digitally present that to them in a way that is easy and visually um, interpretive in a way that they understand the information that you're bringing to them. Both. Love, it. Love it. Well, Rosemary, thank you for your leadership and always doing a great job to spread the mortgage coach mission. Sure. I appreciate it. Anyone listen to this, if you got value, you know, give it a like, share it with your friends, your leaders. Uh, by the end of June, I will be posting with Kristen Messerly. We're um, creating this halftime report. So keep an eye on social media. Uh, hopefully Rob Chrisman will help us push it out there. Housing Wire, I interviewed um, Clayton Collins and hopefully he'll help us get the word out, but check it out, share it with everything. And thank you so much for helping us with this project. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Nice visiting with you from the roof. All right, take it easy. Don't don't Bye. don't zoom and drive.